This is Singapore. More or less in the Little India area. I'm not sure if this is technically considered Little India, but I just arrived this morning and got a room in that hotel there, the Golden Royal Hotel, recommended. Nice little room for about uh, $55 US. And I just have one evening here and then I'm flying to Thailand tomorrow. Lots of uh, cool restaurants around here. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna find something, but uh, wanted to explore around a little bit first. LK Maju restaurant, Thai Muslim seafood. Sounds pretty good. So I'm going to walk uh, back in the direction where I uh, got off the metro station this morning, find a restaurant there, and then get a glimpse of the ocean and just do a little random exploring here with my few hours that I have and give you a little taste of Singapore in the process. Well, I'm definitely in Little India. First, check it out. That is a Methodist church. And then look at what's down at the end of this uh, street here. That is a Hindu temple. I remember seeing that the uh, first time that I was here in Singapore seven years ago. As usual, then uh, it is super colorful and intricate with all kinds of carvings of Hindu gods. So walk up there and show that up close. And so it is the Sri Vira Makaliaman Temple. Try saying that three times fast. And check it out, we got Diwali Festival Village, a market here. Awesome. Beaconeer Express. Sweets. Beaconeer is a city in Rajasthan in India. I love this name. Cool and Joy. Spirit and Wines. Pretty classic Indian English name. So, what I'm trying to do actually now is find the restaurant where I ate this morning because I'm not uh, in the mood for Indian food right now. That other restaurant had like nasi goreng and stuff, which is Indonesian, and that's a little more local for one thing. Now, can I find it? Wow. That is an epic mural over there. And found it, Al Bismi restaurant. And 
here we go, nasi goreng, which literally means fried rice. Fried rice in Indonesian. And a lassi, which definitely is not Indonesian, that's Indian, so part of the Singaporean uh, mix of cultures here. All right, that was excellent. It was $8.50 Singaporean, which is about $6 US for both the uh, nasi goreng there and the lassi. But that is a lot more expensive than it would have been in Indonesia, for example. But that is Singapore. And it was good. And still, that's not uh, all that much compared to a lot of places in the world. All right, I'm now trying to find the nearest metro station and head down to the water, which you aren't going to be able to see all that much, but at least give a little taste of something else here in Singapore. I'm not even sure what this is. I guess it's a bar. Bar or restaurant. Seven Eleven. They're everywhere in Thailand, especially. And heading up to the street here at the Bayfront Metro stop. And should be an awesome view of the uh, water and the uh, Marina Bay Sands Hotel and various other, uh, you know, skyscrapers and high buildings in uh, Singapore here. So this will definitely be a very different uh, view of things from Little India. Alright, where's the water? There's some point at which it will uh, just totally open up. But yeah, that is a high-tech scene there. Where you see the yellow light in the horizontal? Oh yes, okay, like there's a one. Oh, right there. Okay, cool. I'm from the United States. Are you really enjoying, are you really enjoying Singapore? Oh yeah, yeah, I just arrived this morning, so just uh, checking things out. And, and where are you coming from? Which part of the uh, US? California. This will not be great for you, man. You live in such a nice place. It's, California is much better. It's different. It's definitely, uh, you know, more exotic here. And First time in Singapore? Second time. Second I was here time. once before, yeah. Oh, then you would know the city. Exactly. Yeah. A little taste of it. Good. Have a good one. Thank you. You too. Notice that they drive on the left side of the street here, as is the case in uh, much of Asia, depending on the country. All right, and check it out. Here's the water out here. And this is the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. I made a video here when I was here seven years ago called like Trapped in a Mall or something because it was pouring down rain, just like torrential downpour. And I had to go inside there and uh, wait for quite a while before the rain stopped. This is actually uh, pretty awesome to get the night scene of the Singapore skyline right on. And the mall inside the uh, Marina Bay Sands Hotel here. Pretty fancy. Back outside and it is warm. It is really like the perfect temperature. A little bit of a breeze coming off the uh, sea there, but definitely, you know, the air here is like thick with the humidity. Slightly too warm, like going into the AC there was nice. And then um, coming outside, it's a little bit of uh, just the intensity of the, of the warmth, but uh, especially in the evening, then it's really about perfect. And I think I'm going to head over this way and walk around on the other side of the water over there. Should be interesting.
And from here, then you can get a uh, view, not that you can see it very well, but that is the Marina Bay Sands Hotel there and a uh, full moon up there. It's kind of an odd looking building. It's like a boat on top. I know you can't really see it there, but uh, it is a very tall, skinny uh, building. And I'm sure the views from up there are just amazing. I think there's a restaurant up on top. It's so cool, all these people out exercising. in the evening. What a cool scene. Singapore is definitely one of the coolest cities in the world. Super clean, safe, modern, and yet at the same time, really interesting, totally multicultural. Nowhere else like it in the world. Here you can catch a boat across the water, I guess. Over there is where I was before. But this is really the heart of Singapore right here. Awesome view in every direction. Looks like they're getting ready for some kind of a uh, show, Oktoberst. <laughs> Looks like a kid's show. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for videos coming next from Thailand tomorrow, flying to Krabi and then going to the island of Koh Lanta. Later, hope you enjoyed this tour of Singapore.